Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I just wanna share that <laughs> I am slowly creeping back into my morning routine. So I got up, I worked out, and now I'm going to attempt to film part of this video while I get ready for work today because I am back in the building. So <sighs> this came the other day. I have not touched it, I have not swatched it. I just wanted to do it for the first time on camera. I have looked at it. It is beautiful. This is the Kaleidos and Angela Nequist. I hope I say her last name right. The collab Club Nebula. So if you wanna see swatches of this baby here and probably a couple looks I'll end up doing in this video, keep on watching this video. Don't forget to let me know what you think. Let me know if you purchased this palette and what you think about it. And definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started because I'm already opening the box. Okay, so this palette released, was it January 19th maybe? I think so. And I, I know that Kaleidos has not collabed with anyone before. So based on what I know about Angelica, she loves color and I think it was a perfect person to collab with, to be honest. So when you get the box, now this is not, y'all know this is not a PR box or anything. This is just their standard, packaging for this palette and when i got my escape pod i still have my box from that wait a minute i think it's under here wait a minute it's never far away things are never far away in this in this house hold on i use the boxes for other things y'all makes you feel like you got something that was really nice wait a minute hold on i got one other thing to show you hold on because I'm just a sucker for like unique things. This is the highlighter set. No, I did not need it. No, I didn't. I mean, look at this. I'm just saying. Like this is, to me, spectacular packaging. When people talk about packaging, that's packaging right there, okay? And, and these are boxes that I would actually put on display. So that's neither here nor there because we are here for this baby here. So the box, flips up like this and then inside you have your palette and it was nicely you know insulated so it had the uh, styrofoam around the palette here and then it had two pieces on top of it I threw that part away and then here is the outer box which is super cute and then here is the front of the palette and here is the back and on the back of the palette, it says, the Club Nebula palette is a collection of my favorite shades for my favorite people. And that was a quote by Angelica. And it says, Kaleidos, a rich, sultry palette that brings universal class to far out looks, made in collaboration with Angelica Nequist. So it looks very, very well thought out. This palette, I believe, was $45, and it took about a month to get here. So, you know, hopefully it was worth the wait, but if it's anything like the Escape Pod, I think that I will be uh, very happy. So let me just grab the Escape Pod real quick because it's sitting right there on the floor. Okay, I just realized I filmed everything with no mic, so I'm gonna have to redo that. I don't know if y'all could hear me, but this is the Escape Pod palette. And if you if you love color, this is for you. It is gorgeous, great palette. One of my top fives in my collection, very unique. And you can see that the thickness of both palettes is the same. Uh, yeah, it's the same size palette. The layouts are the same. So when you open up, which is what we're waiting for here. You have the same type of layout as the Escape Pod, but this palette is just so cool. It's just like a really, really, really cool vibe. These blues, these greens, this color right here. Ah, I, I really, really like this. And it definitely looks like something Angelica would have picked out, especially this, this green right here looks just like her. Yeah, let's get into it. See what time it is because I gotta get ready for work, but, um, this is part of me getting ready, I guess. So let's go ahead and swatch this palette. There are 15 shades, and I'm really excited because I've been waiting on this, so let's do it. So let's start with this top row here, starting with Firefly. Okay, I already love it. Seven of Nine, Gravity. Sorry about the blur, clear that up. Queen of Blades, Void. All right, here's our top row. 
makes a great story in itself. Here are the shades for the second row. You are my only hope. I think we say this uh, Naru or Nehru. Astro, ooh y'all, look at that. Please respect my privacy at this time. Next we have Rock Hopper and Cyclone or cyclone. All right, so those are the top two rows. Let's see if I can fit the last row on my arm. All right, and here is the bottom row. Celestial, Nova, okay. Samus or Samus, Nebula, and the last shade is Red Giant. I don't know why my camera's been like really acting a little persnickety lately. But here is the Club Nebula palette. I happen to think this is very unique, very different. It's just the way these colors are put together. It's just, I don't know, it's just a nice vision. So I'm really excited to get into this palette. I'm sorry, this is still my morning voice. But um, yeah, let's, let's get into some looks with this palette. I'm really, really, really excited. So I'm sitting here talking about, hmm, what's that smell? Oh, I forgot I put sausage on. Sausage no more. I'm waiting for August granddad to come pick him up. Then if I leave here at 8.15, I could be to work by like 8.17. Or if I leave at like, maybe I can leave at like 8.20 and I'll be there at like 8.22. Damn, since I'm going to work, I'm gonna just do one look for right now. But don't you worry. Okay, I have to try gravity out. I have to try to shade like. Oh my God, so this color already, so pretty. So my experience with Kaleidos mattes has been a really great one. I don't really have any complaints about them at all. I don't think I've had a complaint about anything that I've gotten from Kaleidos. And by the way, I wanted to let you know, cause every time I wear this blush, and I don't know if you can see it cause I didn't, I didn't put anything on really heavy because I'm gonna have my mask on, but every time I wear this blush, people ask me what it is, like on my videos. This is from the Make Your Escape Pot. This is the Lo-Fi Duo Blusher in Peach. And it looks like this. And I love this, this is discontinued, but it's such a great duo because you have um, the highlighter shade and the blush shade. And basically I just swirl it onto both colors and put it on. But like I said, I didn't go as heavy. I like blush heavy, but I didn't put it on as heavy just because of the mask thing. But I mean, whatever. But this is, I hope they come out with some more blushes soon. Cause those are blushes I would be inclined to get even though I don't need any blush. Like those and those um, space age highlighters are definitely special. So I knew I was going to eventually get all those space age highlighters. So I was like, you know, why not get the little display tin? So cute. Anyway, I love this color right here. So yeah, this is looking good. Okay. And that was like a quick blend, y'all. Like, no problems whatsoever. The other color that I'm really curious about is the shade Rock Hopper, which is this one. Like, these two really stood out to me. So I'm gonna use this in the crease. Somebody getting in trouble. I'm just like, y'all know y'all might hear it. Somebody might be getting in trouble early. And I love this as a Nice deepening shade. This is beautiful. What would you call this? It's like a gray purple. That's not what, like what, what name would you call that shade? Oh, and before I forget, I have to give my nephew a shout out because my nephew, Brian, is always, that's like my PR manager and he is always like encouraging me and talking to his friends about me and my videos. So I know they're more into gaming cause they're like 10, but I have to shout out my nephew Brian and his friends because that is some support, you know? I, I, I have to shout them out because I really do appreciate it, as well as all of you. Is this August granddad? No. See, I'm really trying to work on my time management, y'all. Like, this is what I need help with in life, time management and organization. So I'm just like, you know, sometimes you really have to flip how you look at things. Because I'm like, when am I going to film now? Because when I get home, I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. I mean, or like feel pressured to do it, but 
I was like, if I get, and that's the same thing about working out, but if I get it out the way, like in the morning or part of it, you know what I mean? Like you just got to flip it. And that required me to go to bed on purpose last night, which I did. Y'all went to bed. I was in the bed at 1030. That's the earliest I've ever gotten in the bed. I didn't go to sleep right away, but like I still got in. Okay. I'm going to use, Ooh, I want to use the shape void and put that in the outer corner and then we'll pick a shimmer. But yes, you just got to flip it. Like it's easier said than done because it's uncomfortable at first. But like when I got up and worked out this morning, I'm like, Carrie, you used to do that every day. You used to work out every morning or every other morning. There were some mornings like back um, when Mark was here where I would actually get up at 430 and actually go to the gym. Um, and now I'm like, no, you can just work out. And then I got my exercise bike, not the Peloton, but just my regular bike. I don't know why I just did that. You know, now I have my Peloton, so there's really no excuse. And then if I, oh, dang, here come August granddad. Hold on. I'll be back. So I'm running my mom. I'll be right back. One kid down. All right. So now we're going to do a shimmery shade. And I'm, hmm. Oh my God. I don't even know. I'm like, I don't even know which one to choose from. They're all so gorgeous. Okay. I think I know which one. I think I'm going to go ahead with the shade Nebula, which is this one right here. Part of me feels like I should just put a little bit of concealer on this just so, okay. Bright. What? Okay. Part of me feels like I should put a little bit of concealer on here just to make it stand out not necessarily a cut crease but since i got some of that blue in the area that i want it i'm gonna just do that really quick it's like a little fake out cut crease you know what i'm saying without all the cutting Bucky. hi river i know Come on, river. he's fine being nosy so that's the shade right here i'm gonna use this brush i don't know if this is a good brush let's see bye river I'm just tapping this really lightly because I don't remember about the fallout situation. I don't know. I don't care. But I know I don't have time to be doing a whole bunch of fixing right now. But look at this color. Ooh, I got lash glue in my eye. Don't worry about that. In my eyelash. But that's okay. Because I'm about to put some lashes on. Right to work with dramatic lashes. Surely am. Because once you go lash, you never go back. Okay, I do really like this color. Oh man, my battery's about to die. I can't win. Okay, yes, I do like this color and it's it's a bit sheer. So you may want to put this over top of one of the matte shades if you, you know, feel like it's not pigmented enough. I'm gonna actually take some of Queen of Blades and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that with that void shade in the outer corner. Okay, I do like that. I will work with this blend a little bit more with a little fluffier brush. Okay, I think that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to the other side. This is a cute palette. So I know that they did have one or two restocks. I don't know if the last one that they did was their final restock but this is uh, this is definitely worth it and i do feel like you know it's affordable i know you have to add on the shipping that's why i tried to make the shipping worthwhile by adding on a whole highlighter set okay and then i'm going to okay so this is what we have all right so now was that blurry I need to fix my eyebrow. See, I gotta get used to getting ready for work in the morning and like being a little quicker, but not sloppy though, you know? So I'm gonna just blend this up a little bit so it matches the other eye. Let me take this brush that has a little bit of this on it still. There we go. This is cute. I really do like it. Okay. I need a shade for the under eye. I think I'm gonna just go ahead with rock hopper again just gonna take the same brush i use for the uh sheer shade the lid shade and just i love this shade so much 
This probably is gonna be one of my favorites in the palette. Oh my God, my sister's trying to get Marky to take his medicine and it is so hilarious. Cause Marky acts real gaggy, like when he has to take his medicine. And this is, it's so much y'all like. Oh, he did it. I heard him say good job. Okay, yes. See me being a teacher, I can kind of wear what I want. Oh my God, my sister was like, that's how you take care of your business. I'm done. All right, I'm gonna take the shade. Let's do Firefly. Firefly is gonna be for the inner corner. I'm gonna try to keep it in the inner corner because I have a habit of like not doing that. Okay, so here's our look for work today. It might be a bit rushed, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeliner. Start doing this now. Cause this, let me see what time it is. Oh, I said 820, I need to leave at 820 so I can be there by 822. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on my liner and I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes because why not? And I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back. I think I might need to fix up the lid shade just a little bit, I don't know. These lashes are a little raggedy y'all, I'm just letting y'all know. I needed a pair that I could get on quickly, so. Just imagine this look with fresh lashes. That's all I can say. I think when I do this again, I'm gonna put it over this um, Samus color. Like these two would be really nice together. I think it would just give it just a little bit more kick, but this is so pretty. Let me use my finger. Okay. This is so pretty though. So I used a green eyeliner by Urban Decay. It's this shade called Overdrive. I used this under here and I'm wondering if I put it on top. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get back, get used to doing my makeup. I used to do it in the car, but I've gotten a little fancy since then, so I don't know. Here's the final look, you guys. Um, not sure what the lashes are gonna look like closed, but the, the eyeshadow though is so pretty. I really, really like this palette. I will be doing some more looks with this palette. I'm hoping to do another one in this video, maybe when I get home, but yes. All right, y'all, I am off to work, so I'll be back with another look in this video. So I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you like in a second. <laughs> hey you guys, so I am back to do another look. I'm gonna do one look on each eye and I'm just gonna let the music play. I am wearing some lipstick by Kaleidos. It's a lip gloss. It is called Lucid Lip and it's the shade Hypnotize. So that's what I have on now. I'm using a KW Beauty Lip Liner. And that's what the lip gloss looks like. So I just wanted to uh, share that. I do think they still have the lip gloss um, on their website. I just wanted to mention that since it was a Kaleidos product. And I once again have on that lo-fi duo blusher in peach. So again, I'm gonna do one look on each eye just so we can see some more looks with the palette. And I'm just gonna let the music play and I'll be back at the end to wrap it all up. All right, let's get started. Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Just fall on me You don't need no space Just fall on me Like a mirror you reflect me Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like I knew you affect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Be a 
Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like I knew you would me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Okay, you guys, I am back with the final looks. Let me know what y'all think now. I don't have my normal dramatic lash and these are the kind that like, I like the kind with the black band, but these are the clear band and I'm still getting used to putting on those. That's all to say, it may look a mess when I close my eyes, okay. So that's the first look, let me. Here's the next look. Mm, mm, both looks. Mm. What do y'all think? I think they're cute. And I love that this palette is versatile. Now for the eyeliner situation, I use this Urban Decay liner in the shade Rockstar. It looks like this. It's like a brownish purple color, like a cool tone brown purple. I like the palette a lot. Didn't have any issues. I had a little bit of fallout from the blue shade, but that's okay. I mean, the mattes are great. I don't have any issues and I use every color. I use all the colors in the palette, I believe. So I really don't have anything bad at all to say. What I like about Kaleidos is they don't come out with things too often. So I really do appreciate the palettes that I have. I showed you the Escape Pod. And I do have a video on that. I have two of the mini Futurism palettes and I have a video on that. But the highlighters, just everything, the whole vibe that is Kaleidos, I'm really digging it. And like I said, these big palettes or these big releases, I think they only came out with that one last year, which was the Make Your Escape. Yes. Can, can I get his what? His badge. You mean the trophy? I don't know where that is. Right here. Ask Poppy, it's right there. Mm. Poppy. I'll get it, I'll get it. It's like people. It's like when I sit down to film, people want random things. Like, can I get Marky's basketball medal? Marky haven't played basketball in like four years. Why? Why are you asking me for that? I if you do have this palette, I hope this gave you some inspiration about how to mix up the colors and create some different looks. I can't wait to maybe put some of the reds and the blues actually together. I think that'll be nice. But um, you know, I try to do a variety of looks and um, I hope you guys enjoyed them and got some inspiration because that's what I really want to do here is inspire and be creative. So that's that. All right, let me know your thoughts on the palette, on the collection. Did you get it? Did you pass? And what else are you looking forward to being released? Because there's some things coming up. Not a whole lot, but there's some things. So anyway, until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,